Hey friend, what's up? How you been? I mean, I know I'm a little late, but I couldn't let you start this week without a little tea in your life. Uh, no. Okay, let's um, let's try this one more time. Sorry. So while sitting at home, I got the idea to do this crazy strawberry shortcake inspired look. So I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with my e.l.f. contour and concealer palette in the lightest shade. And of course, you know I'm about to get into my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. I want to kick the color off in this look a little bit early. So I'm going to start off in my creases by adding that deep orange color you see in the palette, Zama. Next, I want to add a little dimension to my eyes with that deep brick red Jamata right over where I just added that orange. Of course, just to add a little depth to that, I'm going to mix the colors Kufuru and Wazana and just add that right in the edge of my crease before I start this cut crease look. Back again with my e.l.f. contour and conceal palette so I can add a little bit more of that lighter shade onto my lid because I really want this color look to pop. bring back a little bit more of that burnt orange Zama so I'm going to pack that in to the corner of my crease before I get to my lid. <laughs> Next I'm laying a little bit more of that nice deep brick red Jamata right on top of that and throwing it in the middle of my lid. I'm digging into my second favorite Juvia's Place palette, which is the Warrior, the original Warrior palette. Looking for some shimmer and I settled on Dahomey or Dalmay. because what's life without a little just extra extra I'm going to pack a little bit of that light shimmer shade you see in the middle Moremi into my arches just to give you a little shine 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 you know okay friend let's get into this makeup though so I'm starting off as you know my favorite hydro grip primer by milk cosmetics throwing that on my face You know I gotta follow up with my ultimate favorite foundation of the moment, which is that Born This Way liquid matte foundation in the shade Chai. I love this stuff. time to do some concealer work under those eyes mixing my nyx can't stop won't stop in the shades mahogany as the darker one and golden as the lighter one right on top <laughs> Now 
as you can see, I'm not going for a super dramatic contour and concealer look on this uh, particular makeup look, but just something simple. So I am going to start my contour as usual with that deep brown, which is that espresso from NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer as well. Now, of course, one of the reasons I told y'all that I love the Warrior 2 palette so much is because it allows me to experiment with my eye looks and I can double back and set my contour with some of these gorgeous browns. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that Kufuru shade and add it right on top of the liquid contour that I added to my cheekbones. Now listen, I told you the last time if you see me on here smiling like a maniac, it's because that's what them people told me to do when I'm adding my blush, all right? I'm still learning, okay? So I'm going back into that gorgeous orange and I'm adding some Zama only because I do want a blushy look, but I don't want to look too rosy in the cheek area, you know? Now before I show these gorgeous lashes off, I'm going to set everything that I did with that all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay and add some liquid liner to my little baby lashes. <laughs> Now, you know I could not end a look like this without some bomb lashes. So I'm going to add some gorgeous 3D Mink lashes I picked up from an Etsy shop called Cute as a Button by my girl Winter. And check these out. I got them in the style success, y'all. Love these. Now it's time to put the cherry or the strawberry on top. I'm going to kick it off with sealing my bald cap down with my always handy dandy bold hold liquid gold and blowing that down with some warm heat. Now while I'm waiting for that to melt down a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and add this gorgeous deep red brick red lip liner to the corners of my lips. Next, I'm packing on this gorgeous kind of pastel magenta shade from Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Line, and it's in the shade Devil's Advocate. All right, y'all, I got my ball cap melted down, and it's time to prep my skin with some Bold Hold Skin Protect. Now, you know I'm extra greasy. So I had to get rid of all that extra oil and debris before I laid this wig down. If you haven't checked out my review of this Bold Hole Liquid Gold product, I highly suggest that you check it out. But it's my favorite new alternative to wig glue. Because I switched my hairstyles so much, this is my favorite new product. And it's so easy to use because it really does hold your wigs down and it's easy to remove. You literally just throw some water on it and that's all you need. So it's the perfect wig adhesive for somebody looking for a temporary style. And boom, this is it, y'all. This is the final look. No, I cannot braid hair, so I got my mom to add these two braids to it. But I just felt like that would be the perfect final touch to this look. So um, you know how this goes. I'm about to show you a couple angles. Go ahead and drop down in that comment below and let me know what you think of this look or if there's any other inspired makeup and hair looks you'd like me to try this year. I'm ready for you. Friend, I'm so excited for what 2021 has in store for all of us. 
and you know of course i appreciate you clicking play on this video so i'll see you next time in the meantime go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs>